Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Rome, and we're back with some more MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. This is the Rise of Rasselhag DLC. We're into the storyline. Now, I do have the camera back. Um, it may not stay. I wasn't running it for a few reasons. One, I wasn't feeling great. And two, I want to be able to get screenshots of the cutscenes to use for thumbnails. Uh, and obviously, if my face is in it, I don't think it works as well for that. Uh, I want you to already be invested in the video before you have to look at me and you might run away screaming, right? So this is also the first video I am first gaming video I'm recording with my new uh, audio workflow. So I've got my new PreSonus Revelator IO44 audio interface hooked up to my tried and trusted uh, Rhodes shotgun mic up there. Uh, my goal is to get the levels for the game and the voice such that I don't need to mess with them at all in post. Uh, that way they're good if we decide to uh, do some streaming as well. So if they're close enough, I'm probably just going to go ahead and upload it as is and let you guys let me know whether something is too loud or not loud enough. And we'll we'll make those adjustments until we get dialed in and the vast majority of you are happy. I do also have audio ducking on. So the game volume should come up when I'm not talking. So for instance, for cutscenes, uh, and then go back down when I talk and that's all set up to happen automatically in the Revelator. I've been doing it in post, but it'd be nice if I don't have to do it. Uh, and the game has crashed again. All right, the game has crashed on me a couple times. The last time it told me a D3D device was lost. I think the app I use for controller integration for when I use my PlayStation is uh, is is considered, is uses an app called D3D to convert it. I don't know for sure though. I did plug in my Microsoft controller uh, and we'll see if stuff breaks or not. I don't know, we'll figure out how it goes. All right, um, Battle Mix. Now I know I had a setup up here. I think it was me, Roush, Aaron, and the game crashed again. All right, the game's crashed on me a couple times. I had some guesses. Those guesses were wrong. I'm hoping it is just my overclock that I did on the NVIDIA GTX 10, 10, uh, 3060. Excuse me. Um, so I backed that off a little bit. I, I got it a little more aggressive with it than I originally tuned, and, and I'm hoping that's the problem. We'll find out. So I know I had kind of a setup, I thought, for the next mission. It was be me, Roush, Aaron, Danny O, I think, if they let us do that. Um, is it time to do that? Timeline. Uh, mission starts in two days. It is. So I think we're good. I haven't played this game in a little, about a week. Um, so what, let's, let's see what's going on here. All right. Uh, so with a heavy heart that I must report that while our strikes against the Lear and Logistical Network were, uh, successful, we failed to draw Nicole Kelswa or any of her forces away from their strongholds. Instead, Nicole Kelswa chose to retaliate by murdering a number of civilian family members, many from within our own ranks. Well, my heart bleeds for... Uh, Overeste, Lotnit, Mirborg, and the other members of the tier that lost someone to Kelswa's cowardly act. Our desire for vengeance cannot cloud our judgment. Kelswa clearly committed heinous war crime to bait us into attacking her, and they got her damn wrong society on their terms, which is what we did last time. That was our goal, was to pull them out to do the same thing. So, sure, why not? Throwing ourselves into a meat grinder to get vengeance on Kelswa will only benefit the Ronin forces, also laying claim to Goonsburg. For now, we need to leave Kelswa behind her walls with a logistical chain now in shambles, Attrition will eventually take hold and force her out into the open. Instead, we'll focus uh, our efforts on breaking the Ronin 211th Mechanized Assault Command. Their forces are scattered across a wide area using sympathetic villages and remote industrial hubs to house their forces that we are unable to fortify. Provided we sweep wide to engage their entire force before we can consolidate, we should be able to envelope them quickly and efficiently so we can turn our attention to bringing Kelswa and her mercenaries to justice. For this operation, we'll be dividing our forces and engaging the Ronin along two major fronts. The rest of at Mirberg and the Dragon's Breath will take the Northern Theater, while the Commander and I will take the South. I know it's going to be hard after all that's happened. Stay focused, stay safe, and I promise you, Kelswa will be next. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hide me, just in case there's some sort of weird uh, cutscene here, and we'll hit continue. Uh, I guess we've got to get the, the mech figured out, but advance this sign nav point, eliminate all encounter drone forces. All right, so it's just... Looks like it's either going to be like a battle or potentially an assassination mission. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll take all our salvage that we can. See, this time it let me take. Hold on. See, this time it let me take all salvage. Well, let me hold on. Yeah, even though those two gray ones are there, I don't know what's going on with that. Sometimes it does. Oops. No, I want to. I want to confirm. Hitting the wrong button. Um. So this was not how we were going to have to do it. We were going to go... Uh, 
Atlas. Left Eye of God there. Then we were going to throw in... Uh, let's actually put this one in first for Aaron. Yeah, I think we're putting Aaron in there. And then we'll put the uh, Victor in the third slot. And then we'll go with the Assault Lance. Uh, is that the one? No. Uh, that's the new one we're building. Um, there we go. Put Danny there. Lieutenant Slingo, Lieutenant Roush, and Lieutenant Baker, and we are 45 tons under. Man, the escalation of this mission from where we started to what they expect us to have now, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. We might have to buy another assault mech or two before this is done. All right. Well, this is about the third time I've tried this battle. The computer crashed completely once. Uh, OBS crashed once. Um, I think the problem was just the overclock. Um, obviously, I ran the overclock for a fair while on synthetic benchmarks. Um, but synthetic benchmarks don't always create the same type of load that a game does. So I've turned it off completely at this point. I do have ray tracing on, and I don't know if it's going to work or it's going to be okay or not. I haven't had great luck with uh, ray tracing in this game, but I figured as long as I was killing my computer playing this game, we may as well just go in all the way, right? And try it out. So that's what we've got going on. Uh, it's a little annoying. I'm already tired of the dialogue in this one. <laughs> uh, so so we'll get us it, I'll get us it through it again for your guys' viewing enjoyment. Uh, so they do have a couple mechs out there. They've got a Banshee. They've got a Cyclops. They've got four various tanks. Um, I have found some interesting things in this fight. You're going to notice that they do attack the buildings, even though it is not a demolition mission. So somewhere in the code for this, one of these, you know, because this is a custom mission. Um, it must have something in there about about it being a demolition. So you, so you should, at least I did the last two times, see everybody shoot at the base. So uh, we'll see what goes on with that. Now, the water doesn't look as good as I think it should if, with ray tracing on. But I have a feeling ray tracing wasn't really part of their initial plan. It's just something they glommed on because it existed. Otherwise, the water looks okay. Come on, keep moving. Keep moving. There you go. Uh, there were some choppers that flew over us while we were in the canyons. Wasn't much we could do about it in there, but now maybe when we're out here, we can. No shit. That's because they are swarming us. Taking heavy casualties over here. Interestingly, every other time we've had a Phoenix Hawk ready to jump us as soon as we came out. This time it did not happen. I'm not sure where he is, if they got him already or uh, where he's wandered off to. Got a what? SRM 60 there. Okay, let's not step on him. I'd like to go that way, but I don't want to step on the SRM carrier. So I think I'm going to stay to the right and we'll go around this way. Just so our guys don't squash those vehicles going through that pass. There we go. Got a couple missiles out of the out of the trees. Looks like it might even hit something. Oh, 
One more, one more. There we go. There's that Phoenix Hawk. Can I get an AC-20 in his back? Not quite. Got the little locust here. The locust has been kind of a, the biggest pain, actually, this first wave. Oh, do you see how he stopped and turned as it was coming in? That was cheaty. Cheaty McCheater face. There we go. Uh, we'll take care of your arms. Get another AC-20. Take care of your other arms so you don't have any guns left, and then ignore you. Alright, there's a wolfhound out there. I don't know that I ever noticed the wolfhound before. I don't know. I assume he's been in all the fights, and I just... He died before I got to shoot at him. I think he cares about his that arm, but you know what? We'll take it off any. Oh, whoops. Maybe we won't. I can you punch him? No. We're not gonna punch him. But we got him anyway. Yeah, see, there they go. It's an ambush. They'll be right on top of you in five minutes. My forces are in no shape to be facing this new threat. I'm withdrawing my unit from this engagement. What? Dragon friend. My men are in slow moving heavy in assault max. Oh, poor you. We're all in assault max. These third party hostiles followed side the negotiated objectives of this mission, and my men have already suffered heavy casualties. I'm invoking the self preservation clause of our contract and withdrawing my men from this fight. Negative, Dragon's Breath. You are to screen over the Lieutenant Miraborg and his detachment's withdrawal. Now he's supposed to follow his contract. Respectfully, you say, that's not going to happen. We're not getting paid to throw our lives away just to preserve yours. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. Best of luck. Dragon's Breath? Dragon's Breath, respond! Damn it, they've cut off communications. Seems to me the Rasslike people should have read the contract. All right, we got two lances dropping on us. We're going to push on this one first. Actually, to be fair, so they can rob us blind. sounds like he wanted them to work against their contract. Oh, look at he just did. He jumped through and just everybody shot him. Got a spider up here. I think at the moment's still light. Let's not step on our buddy here. I think I put that AC 20 right between his legs. Not shoot Aaron with the AC 20. Oh, missed with those. Uh, hunchback. Lost the hunch already. I think I missed the punch. Aaron is so bloodthirsty. Is it, is it just me or the female voices in this game more bloodthirsty than the male voices generally? More missiles. Is he on this side of the wall or not? Can't actually tell. Down he goes. Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. This is the best we've done in this fight. But to be fair, this is also the first time that I haven't had severe stuttering in the game. Like, more or less breaking down on me yet. Uh, you guys finish that spider real fast? 
Oops. I almost stepped on that dude. Almost. There we go. Uh, Marauder, maybe? Sure. Let's put some, let's put some shots on the Marauder. What else we got? We got a Battlemaster. Uh, I think the Marauder is the easiest one to bring down. The other one? Orion, yeah. yeah definitely the easiest one to bring down. I think I actually hit its leg. And maybe the other leg? Alright. Uh, who are we going for next? Uh, you? Okay. I'm happy to... Oh, yeah. I can't get a shot. Aaron's in the way. Move, Aaron. Yeah, I couldn't get around. Yeah, I'm kind of wishing I had the 400 tons now. All of a sudden, am I gonna get the get a punch off on him? We're almost done here. Hold on just a little while longer. Uh, Phoenix Hawk is in pretty much perfect shape. Oh, and and Aaron took care of the Phoenix. Oh, he just probably took like all those SRMs to the face when he came in, and maybe a battle fist as well. and save the Republic. Thor, I'm sorry. There isn't more I could do. My daughter, Tyra. Look after her for me when I'm gone, Christian. Give her and the Republic the freedom we fought all our lives to see. You have my word. I'll make sure of it. I know you will. Goodbye, Overstay. Godspeed, old friend. First tier, fall back. Tyra, I'm sorry. I dedicated my life to fighting for the freedom of our people. To build a better home for you to grow up to see. One where you would never live under the boots of House Corita or Steiner. But the great house's disdain for our people is endless. Magnuson and the Republic were fools to trust that they would recognize our people as equals. Or that the hired guns would care for anything more than lining their pockets with what little wealth our people have. One day, you will learn of all the things Christian and I sacrificed for our people. Of the mercenaries that betrayed us, leaving your mother and I to die at the hands of our oppressors. I'm sorry that their greed and indifference robbed you of a life with us by your side. If by some miracle I survive and live to see you again, I can promise you one thing I will make them pay. Well, I will say this, even though I wasn't a fan of that last little bit of writing or that most of the dialogue in that, but partly that's just because I had to sit through it so many times. Um, I will say that it is probably about par with most of the Battletech novels out there, which are also pretty terrible. <laughs> we make fun of MechWarrior or for MechWarrior for Warhammer for, for sticking their name on so many really, really bad video games. Well, the Battletech franchise sticks its name on pretty much Anybody who wants to write fan fiction, 
regardless of ability uh, in the past. So it is what it is, but we made it through. We got a nice little thing. Maybe he comes back. I don't know. Maybe there's something in the lore on that and the stories. They like to do hide. They do like to hide Easter eggs in their writing here that have played out in the lore of the books. So uh, you guys will have to let me know if, if that's something that that's the case here or not. All right, we've got 30 shares. We could get something. 32 for this Marauder that we absolutely destroyed. Um, so that's probably fine. Uh, 20 for this Crusader, which is also absolutely destroyed. But it looks to me like if we want something out of here, nothing here is going to advance our cause. It's just cash. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab that Crusader. Uh, and then I'll grab a couple AC-20s because you never know. Um, and let's see how we did damage-wise. Look at that. Oh, my God. Long shot, you have to let me know. Are you happy with your girl's I was about to say boy, but it's a girl in this case. Your girl's performance. 2,100 damage. She only got one mech kill out of all that. She did all of the work. Uh, and it looks like, really, I'm the one that came in and did some kill stealing. Uh, Aaron got four kills. She did 1,700 damage. Uh, Lieutenant Slingo at 1,605 damage. He also got three mech kills. Four total. Um, I didn't get any vehicles. I don't even think I saw any vehicles on their side, other than helicopters. And I got my share. I did kill all the air units. I got five. Uh, Aaron got one. Uh, so I did my job there. Uh, none of us took huge damage. 288 for Slingo, 301 for me. Aaron, for once, managed to stay out of the way of the bullets and the lasers. So, uh, yeah, I think that, all in all, it's a pretty good fight. Uh, we're getting a Cyclops out of it, apparently. Uh, Commander, our recovery teams have scoured the northern front for survivors, able to recover Ovest uh, Lieutenant Mirborg, but he sustained heavy injuries while ejecting from his mech. Oh, so he is still alive. All right. Uh, his ejection seat crashed into a tree at full speed. Ouch. Bruising his spinal cord and heavily scarring his face. He'll, oh, of course. He, he's got to come back for revenge with really heavily scars. That's, that sounds, that is exactly Battletech. That's like animated TV, uh, animated Battletech show level. That's, it's perfect. Chef's kiss, right? He'll live, but he'll need extensive physical therapy before he pilots a mech again. The embedded the dragon's breath with Mirborg and his entire unit out in the cold. Well, maybe they shouldn't have put them in a spot where they had to uh, die against their contract then. Uh, well, they put up a good fight. The entire detachment was wiped out by the Guider Damarung Society. Ambush Tor was the last to fall. The disaster has huge ramifications on the first tier. And the dragon's breath gone and Tor's detachment destroyed. Our in-system assets are happening with only 35% to capacity. Uh, while some mechs and mech warriors were salvageable, were dangerously close to a total collapse. I've ordered our unit to retreat and go into hiding with no stand, no chance of directly confronting Nicole Kelswa and her mercenaries in our present state. Luckily, the Ronin of the 211th will likely keep Nicole Kelswa occupied while we attempt to recover as much as we can. Commander, I fear we'll only have one shot at dislodging Kelswa and reclaiming Gunsberg for the Republic, so we need to spend whatever time we can buy wisely to build ourselves back up for the final stand. As such, I'm redistributing some of the battlefield salvage from Tor's unit to you, do what you can to make the most of those assets. In the limited time we have, we only have one shot at taking Kelswa down, so we need to make it count. We got a Cyclops and Z, AC-20, SRMs, not a bad mech. All right, let's get in here. Whoops. Let's get in here and do some repair work. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, we've got this new uh, Crusader that we're going to sell because there is really not much point in trying to get it up and running. Uh, and you, I don't know if there's much chance we're going to do much with you either, but we'll hit a repair all just in case we need it. Uh, it's going to be 25 days. We've got the money. We can do that. Uh, we're not going to do much more to it, though. We'll just we'll just do that for, for the moment. Um, just the tip, still 35 days out to finish working on that. But we'll maybe we'll get it. Maybe it'll be done in time. I, I don't know. I, hard to say. Hard to say. Maybe we get the archer. Maybe we don't. Um, all right. Uh... Mission. Let's try to get one more in. I don't have any idea how long this episode has been because of all the crashes and weirdness I've had to deal with, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep trying to go. All right. And we're up to 95. Um, following the Dragon's Breath desertion, Ovest, Lutenitz, Mirberg's last stand, both the Goddard Adams Society and Ronin 2-11 mechanized assault. Command have diverged their attention towards each other, no longer perceiving the first tier's primary threat fight over the uh, over Goonsberg. While this has provided us a limited window to lick our wounds and recover, I'm afraid that window is now closing fast. I've just received word that the Goddard Damarung Society landed a huge blow against the Roman and other 211th Mechanized Assault Command. Ronan had been pushed out of the territory they once occupied and fallen back to the Bavaria Mountains. 
Kelswa is now mobilizing the entirety of the Goddard Amarung and Kelswa guards to move on the Ronin's position and destroy them for good. After they destroy the Ronin, Kelswa will likely turn to hunt us down next. In our present state, that'd be a fight we cannot win. Our best chance of taking Kelswa out is to overwhelm her when she least expects it, which will be in the midst of her operation against the Ronin. While our blow to our logistics network, the Lyran uh, Mexican vehicles can only run on the ammo they can physically carry into a fight. If we catch Kelswa on our marks at the right time, we could use the Ronin as a force multiplier, pushing the Goddard Damrung to bleed their limited ammo pins dry. This will give us our best chance of drawing Kelswa out and killing her, which should send her mercs packing. I won't lie, this op is extreme Hail Mary. While millions of things can go sideways, the reality is that this is our last chance of giving the people of Goonsburg their freedom. We owe it to Mirabarg, our murdered families, and those countless others who have already laid down their lives in the name of freedom to continue this fight, and God willing, we will merge victorious. All right. Um, continue. Go ahead and throw some salvage in there. Um, mission starts in 15 days. Is that actually when it starts? Let's check the timeline. Um, 15 days. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to next event up to that point. We'll see what we have available for us. Um, and kind of go as big as we can. Oh, it looks like the new Cyclops will be done. Well, a Cyclops will be done, not the new one. Now, this is probably the new one right here. Uh, my Atlas is not done yet. Uh, so that will be interesting. So let's, let's get into mission here. Uh, you're out. You're out. Uh, let's go ahead and try... Might have to just leave Aaron in for the moment. We'll have to see. Um, what do we have else that's big? Uh, we should probably take Crash Lander. That would be a good one to throw in here. Uh, where is Crash? He's right there. Um, we have a... Uh, LRM mech ready to go if we need it. Um... Just a quick assault and see what we got going on here. Um, I don't know. Don't have a lot. We do have the new Stalker 4N ready to go. Uh, it is a brawler. So maybe what we do is we go Rooster. No, you're not. You're not going back. Um, here, we'll take this one out. We'll go Rooster up. I don't know what we're going to do. Um... We put that one in because we don't really care about it. It's Oh, that's mine. Um, excuse me. I do care about that one. I just did take it out. Um, the new one's not ready yet. Um, give me a second. Give me a second to figure out what I want to do. All right. I think this works. We're still under tonnage significantly. We've got Bandit in the Crash Lander for our support. He does have an LRM-20 uh, back there. We've got Rooster. In the third slot, SRM, some medium lasers. We've got the Stalker. I went ahead and put Oliver in it because he's kind of our PPC guy at the moment with the uh, Awesome. Uh, this is only five tons more than the Awesome. But I, if we lose this one, we lose this one. I'm not so worried about it. Um, but it has really good stuff on it. I mean, the two PPCs are tier four, four medium lasers. The SRMs are the only thing that aren't spectacular. Uh, it's a pretty good brawler, and it's got PPCs. So we're going to throw Oliver in there. And because my command mech is ready, we'll, we'll take it. Uh, we are very much, we, myself and Rooster are very, very brawler. Um, mediums and SRMs. Stalker has some range here. Oliver does with the PPCs, but he's also mediums and SRMs after that. And I don't know what the heat's going to let him do in that. Uh, ben is really the only one of us that's that's got it all support stuff. He's got that LRM and an AC-10, uh, which is also tier four. So he can do some sniping from the back. Um, I think that's the best we can do at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and drop. Let's see if we can figure off, finish off Kelswa. After weeks of fighting, Nicole Kelswa's forces appear to have gotten the upper hand over the Ronin, forcing them to retreat to the Bavaria Mountains. Kelswa has fully mobilized the Guto Domerung Society, looking to crush the remaining Ronin before they can fortify their position in the mountains, before she undoubtedly pivots to hunt us down. But we won't give that monster the opportunity. Our best chance at taking Kelswa out is to slam into her with everything we have while her forces are committed to finishing off the Ronin. The battle ahead will not be easy, but it's a fight we must win. Otherwise, Gunsberg will be lost to the same monsters that murdered our our families and nearly killed Oversterleutnant Miraborg. Move out and destroy them all. 
Commander, with three separate armies fighting a must-win scenario, this mission will likely devolve into absolute chaos. To get through this, you'll need to sit close and support the first tier mechs accompanying you on this mission. Pick your targets carefully and do not draw too much attention to yourself. Otherwise, you could find yourself simultaneously targeted by both Steiner and Carita of Force. For the Republic, fire at will. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. We'll stay in close, and we'll all call targets out. Okay, we're doing okay. Watch yourselves out there. One of Nicole Kelswa's house guard dropships entering the combat zone, which means she can't be far behind. Be ready for her when she comes. I don't want to step on the vehicle. I have a feeling he's gonna get squashed no matter what we do. Okay, I don't know who we shot at before. I did just see the second faction up there somewhere. I'm more or less just trying to work our way through here. I can't imagine there's going to be a lot going on here past this. Where did the dropship land? New target, Archer. Let's burn it down. Step out where only the Archer can. Yeah, I'll rotate this way. I'm gonna roll this way. Let's see if I can sneak up on that guy. Never mind. Alright, who we got over there? I do have a mech behind me, which does bother me a little bit, but I'm going to rotate this way. Uh, see if I can get the sh Nope. Okay. We have at least one more mech back there somewhere in that corner, as I recall. Pop out over here. Chopper coming in over there. Shared targets identified. Shadowhawk. Target received. Engaging. Target acquired. I'll see if I can. There we go. I think I put him on the catapult. It does look like that's who's taking the taking the bulk of the damage at the moment. Try to get some shots here. They're act, clearly not shooting at each other at this point. Just kind of let who 
everybody shoot whoever they want to shoot at the moment. All right, another drop ship coming up from our, from our right there. Good shooting. All right. Um, <laughs> there's just a little SRM launcher running around over there. Um, the question is, do we go after them or do we let them come down after us? Following your footsteps, Commander. New target, Banshee. Who else is back there? Let me see if these guys go after him. Target acquired. More choppers. Spotted. Target destroyed. Is there going to be in range when he comes out on that side? Don't know. No, the answer is no. Now we'll go after the Banshee. Let's light it up. Punch him. There we go. Enemy mech Got him. All right, we're doing okay. I think they're going to push Target. back this direction. Oh, oh. All right, so they were yellow then, most likely. The question is, when does Hellswa come out, right? All right, did they land over there while we were waiting? Get that catapult. Seems to me we saw that one. There we go, there she is. Fortunately, that catapult's still out there somewhere. I don't know where. Probably in that tunnel. For all of the lives that she has stolen from our people, make these mountains her tomb. Her tomb. New target, rifleman. Go after the rifleman first. It is ours. Easiest to kill. I see you're still using your stolen outcast, Max Man's daughter. We'll be sure to return them to their rifle owners. There we go. Make it down. We got you, boss. I uh, can't do much while you stand there, buddy. Taking heavy damage. Your subordinate sounded so convinced that he would kill me. What makes you think you will do any better? His name was Paul Miraborg, a better man than you would ever be. Well, she's a woman, as far as I know, so. Fair enough. I guess it's factually true. Oh, Stalker went down. I don't know where Oliver is. Again, though, we knew we knew that we were okay because that wasn't one of our special. Now, we do traditionally kill off Oliver before we kill off any other mechs or any other pilot. So it is po it is possible. His motto is first in, first out. <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, Banshee's there. We could get the Zeus out of it. Now, that's not a bad mech, and the weapons are in good shape. Um, that would be everything. But that would be a legitimate... It's 80 tons, but we probably don't need another 80-tonner at this point. If I'm honest. It's not as expensive... We will... Oh. Never mind. I just saw all those tier 5 weapons. 
Now, granted, three of them are gone, and we're probably just going to strip... I don't know. Do we strip it or do we leave it? Two PPCs. Four medium lasers, an SRM-6, a couple small lasers. Probably take the small lasers off. Um, but otherwise, two PPCs. We could replace an AC. We don't have a tier five. That's pretty darn good. And then we take this one. Oh, we don't have enough. I was going to say we take that to replace the one that's missing. Um, darn it. I wish we could do some, some, some selections on that. Let's see if anybody else is good. So that must in theory, have been her mech, then? Um, okay, well, we can't grab that. We could grab another SRM-6 at a Tier 5. Um, or, yeah, Tier 5. Uh, any other Tier 5 down here? We get some medium lasers. That's that's as good as it's going to get for us. That, to be fair, that's pretty darn good. Yeah, continue. All right. I joked about it, but I didn't actually expect him to die. Aaron got shot out of her mech so many times this season, this play, uh, and she was fine. So, you know, everybody, make sure you pour one out for Oliver. You will be messed, my friend. We'll, we'll name something after you. I don't know which. We will sell the stalker that you died in just to get rid of it. We don't want any cursed mechs. You know what I'm saying? Um... Darn, he did 1,300 damage, two mech kills, five total kills. He just happened to get cored there right at the end. No armor in the back. It looks like somebody got behind him and finished him up. Because you can see he's got he's got armor still all the way across the front. So somebody got in through the back and finished him off that way. Otherwise, let's see. I did 1,700, took 352. Weaver did 1,100, took 238. And Bandit... Uh, in the crash lander did 768. Got three mech kills, though. Five mech kills for Weaver. Uh, and we're gonna get an Atlas out of it. A D. Is this the one that's what... This must be what they're saying was hers then, right? Uh, for the first time in centuries, Goonsburg is free. Apparently, despite the best wishes of everybody that lives there. Um, this freedom was earned off the backs of tens of thousands that lost their lives fighting to liberate the world. Many call home. We've now learned that Nicole Kelso did not just purge the families with connections to first tier, but the entire of Van Deer's governing body approved by the elected Prince Magnuson's office in absence of any governing body of assigned Tor Mirberg to act as Gunsberg's interim Valdher, a position I will pension Prince Magnuson to make permanent, as I can think of no better man to lead Gunsberg in the future. It'd be nice if they could get somebody who could read contracts. Just saying. Um than the one that devoted most of his life to seeing his beloved homeworld free. I pray the new position brings Tor some solace as his mood is darkened since Dragon's Breath. I think I think Tor just wants to be a, a rebel. He doesn't he doesn't he's not ready to go beyond that. Too much thinking involved, too much, you know, too much planning, too much work. He just wants to be angry and lash out at stuff. I think it's a bad I think it's a bad fit, if I'm honest. Um as for us, Commander, we're now calling the what we're now calling the Ronin War still rages on, although we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Loyal DCMS forces have been true to uh, Conray Kirita's word, and they've helped the Kung's army secure worlds that saw Ronin uprisings in the name of the Republic. But the fight is not yet done, and I expect us to deploy once more after I update Prince Magnuson on our current status. Until then, start any repairs you need, and be prepared to ship out at a moment's notice. All right. Well, I've got some repairs to do. I would... They're going to be expensive to do here. Um... Let's go ahead. I said we were going to sell this first, but let's let's strip it first because it does have good gear on it, and then we will we'll sell we'll sell that. That goes. Uh, you get repaired. You get repaired. You get repaired. Uh, you. Let's take a look at you real fast. Um, repair all. We do have some other AC twenties. Uh, I think for now I'm just going to make it a functional atlas. Uh, we'll worry about doing more stuff to it in the future, but for now, I think this is fine. I'm going to move some heat sinks around just to get some of the ammo out of the same place so it's not all sitting in one place um, waiting to go up. Um, and I think that's probably fine for now. Uh, I might move these heat sinks in here as well, just, again, to act as crit soaks uh, for that. We'll go ahead and start the work. 76 days. Oh, that's a lot. Moving those heat sinks around probably wasn't worth it. All right, let's take a look at this Banshee. Repair all. Uh, do we have another AC-10? Um, I do. Uh, how about this Burst Fire? Throw that in there. I'm not a fan of the Burst Fire myself, but that doesn't mean that the uh, AI does badly with it. It does not. It does just fine. Uh, and I've got some PPCs. We'll put on one there. 
And small lasers, I think we take out. Or does that leave us for max armor? I think we take out that one as well. Well, that's a medium energy slot. We could go with a medium in there. No, I think we're fine like this. Um, what are we doing for ammo? Two tons of ammo on that. Do I need that? Probably not, but we'll just go with it for now. Oliver, if you like one of these mechs, let me know if you'd like us to name it after you. Um, you know, we're not going to... We've already got the the um, awesome named Shadow um, somewhere. There he is. Uh, but you get one more if you want. You know, I mean, they named a car Oliver on Top Gear, of course. Probably the most famous... Eh. 1A and 1B with the Toyota Indestructible Truck on Top Gear. And then Oliver, I think, is the most famous. I think those two are right there. You guys let me know if you're Top Gear fans, car fans. Um, obviously, of the original... Well, the, well, not quite the original cast. After all, it wasn't... That form wasn't what originally started. But the primary cast, the most famous cast... Um, let me know what your guys' favorite car is, or what you think the most famous car is from Top Gear, down below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always... You know, if you are interested in getting shot out of a mech in this series, uh, you need to be a member at the moment. And you can do that uh, by clicking the join button down below. We will see you guys next time. Don't forget, you know, pour one out for Oliver. Cheers.